do manual muscle testing flexor carpi radialis. So to start, I'm gonna be showing my partner the actions. First thing it does is flexion of the hand at the wrist joint, and a secondary action is gonna be radial deviation. Now, as you can see, most people are quite limited in that radial deviation, so do not expect to get a lot of action out of that. So what I'm gonna have you do is lift your hand up and radially deviate to the side. Let's do that one more time. Flexion and radial deviation, excellent. So I'm gonna be bringing her hand into that motion, so we'll lift it up and in, and I'm gonna have her hold this position. My other hand's gonna go underneath her forearm to stabilize, and I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of wrap them across the metacarpal area. So I don't want a lot of wrist flexion in here because we're trying to isolate the muscle we're looking for. And I'm gonna pull down against that radial deviation and flexion. She holds for five, four, three, two, and one. And then again, starting with the hand in neutral, I'm gonna ask you to flex up and radially deviate together. Excellent. To lengthen flexor carpi radialis, we're gonna lock the elbow into extension. I'm gonna be grabbing across her metacarpal area as I bring her wrist into extension, and then I'm going to ulnarly deviate the hand a little bit. Again, make sure you're not trying to do a lot of rotation with this. Um, as we're trying to kind of keep the radial ulnar joints neutral, but more so extension and ulnar deviation for the length.